leave that, Pauline. I'll tidy up. Thanks for your baby. No, it's all right. I'd rather stay. That's him. He's back. Martin, I've been so worried about you. I thought you'd been in an accident. Well, I haven't. Have you been fighting again? No. Yes, you have. I mean, look at you. Oh, why, Martin? Why'd you do it? Who have you been fighting with? Nobody. What do you mean, nobody? Just forget I'm all right. Look, hang on. I want some answers from you. Where have you been? Out. Who with? Friends. Which friends? Look, just you stay there. I want some proper answers from you, right? Don't you realise how worried I've been? I've been out there searching the streets. I almost phoned the police. Why? Because your mum thought something terrible had happened to you, Martin. Just look at you. What have you been doing? I told you nothing. Martin! Quiet, Mum. You're waiting neighbours. Look, don't you dare talk to me like that. Martin, your mum was worried about you, that's all. Why can't you just mind your own business? Did she not get any note of him? Not a word. Managed to clean his face up, but he wouldn't talk to me. That's the point. You want me to have a word with him? No, no, that's the point. He doesn't seem to care that we've sat up half the night worrying about him. Oh, you know what kids are like. It's probably just a phase. Yeah, Mark went through that rebellious phase. <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah, and look what happened. He ran away. You will apologise to Ruth because she was up half the night as well, worrying about you, searching the streets for you. She didn't have to. Yeah, you're right, she didn't have to, but she did because she cares about you. Yeah, yeah. And another thing, I want you back in this house by ten past four at the latest because once you're back from school, that's you in for the night. For how long? Until I feel I can trust you again. I'm in the Yorkshire Six Days Squad. Did you have a good day at school? Where's your mum? Upstairs. Um, I started off with a boy. I like to talk to you, Martin. It was about last night. Well, that's not really any of my business, but I kind of see I like the way you're treating your mum. No, um, it's about some missing money from my purse. What are you talking about? Well, I left it lying around the other day, and I know how much money I did it because I don't have very much. You're the only person Have you said anything to Mum? Well, no, uh, I thought we could sort this out between ourselves. I didn't take it, OK? Martin, I know that you... Pauline, uh, have I done something wrong? You finally said a word all through tea. No. Martin told me. I told you what? How could you accuse him of stealing? I just don't believe it. I'm sorry, Pauline. I didn't want to involve you in this. But I'm his mother, for goodness sake. If he'd been stealing from your purse, I should have known about it. But I'll tell you one thing for now. You've made a mistake. No, Lou, I'm sorry, Pauline, but I don't think so. Oh, my Martin might be a lot of things, but he's not a thief. You don't know that. I know my boy. Oh, come on. You've admitted yourself he's changed. You don't know what he gets up to when he leaves this house. You don't even know who he's friendly with. Look, I knew him well enough before I went to America. He was fine then. Wait a minute, you're not blaming this on me. Well, something's changed. But he's the only person that could have taken that money. Then why did he tell me what you said to him? Because he's clever, he's, he's trying to cover his tracks. Well, let's get him and see what he has to say about it, shall we? Martin? Martin! Well? Must have sneaked out the front door. Oh, no. He knows he's not supposed to leave that. Why did you have to say anything? Because I can't just sit back and let him get away oh, with it. Oh, you and your stupid accusations. Well, what do you want me to do? Just pretend that the money never went missing? No, just be more willing to admit that you could have made a mistake. Well, this is a nice welcome home. Hello, oh, darling. Oh, I've missed uh, you. I've missed you too. Right. What's been going on? <laughs> 